Hi everyone, here's another math challenge before us to consider. How do we solve this radical equation? The question is the square root of m plus the square root of minus m equal to 12. What is the value of m that will satisfy this radical equation? So without much waste of time, let's go into today's challenge. Do not forget to subscribe if you do not subscribe. And when you subscribe, Turn on the bell notification button so that you get notified whenever we release an amazing video. So let's go. Yeah, we'll take our solution. That is the first thing to do. So you have your solution. All right. Now, in this challenge, I'm going to show you a very quick approach to solving this. I solved a challenge of this kind already on this channel. So I'm going to leave a link in the description below where you can access that solution or the solution to that math challenge. There, I use a different approach, but here I'm going to use a quicker approach or a better approach. So if you watch this and you watch the other um, uh, uh, math solution or video, then you're going to learn two approaches to solving this kind of math challenge. So here, yeah, let's put down the first one. The first one we have here, the square root of m plus the square root of minus our m square root of 12. In that first one, I move this quantity to this side of the equation before taking the square of both sides. Now, this is a radical. We have to do away with this radical. And this is square root radical. So what we do, we take the opposite, which is the square. And so without moving either of these to this side, we want to square both sides of the equation. Yeah. Are we going to get the same answer? As that when we move this to this side or move this to this side, Yes, this is quicker and it is easier. And so when we do this, what happened? Let's just go gradually. So we have here, this is square root of m plus the square root of minus m plus bracket bracket the square root of m plus the square root of minus m, right? That plus bracket equal to the square root of 12 is 1, 4, 4. Sorry, the square of 12 rather. It's 1, 4, 4, right? Good. So let's open the bracket gradually. So we're going to use this to find this. This will give us here the square root of our m all to the power of 2. Then plus, if we use this to find this, this will give us bracket the square root of our m times the square root of our minus m plus bracket. We come to this. We use this to find this. This will give us plus bracket square root of minus m then times then we are using this to find this right times our square root of our m, then close bracket. We equally come and use this to multiply this. So this will give us our plus bracket the square root of minus m times the square root of our minus m close bracket. Okay, this is equal to one four four. Easy. So here, what happened? This can go with this. This, again, we're supposed to write it as a square root of minus m always to the power of 2. So that this we read, right? But we're going to arrive at the same answer. So we have here m there plus what we have here and what we have here, they are the same. So we cannot bring it 2 into our square root of m times the square root of our minus m, those brackets. Then, plus this because what we have here are the same and so this radical will go with the square that will come out from here okay to avoid that this expression could be written as bracket open the square root of minus m all to the power of two this is what i'm supposed to have done here okay then equal to one four four so what happened this this will leave so this minus times plus will give us minus so we now end up having m plus r2 then into the square root of our m times the square root of minus m plus bracket minus m. This is equal to 1 or 4. Easy. Right? So if you look carefully, this is invisible plus m. So this, we go with this, minus m. So we are now left with our 2 into the square root of our m times the square root of our minus m plus bracket equal to 1 or 4. 
we have to eliminate the two that is attached to what we have here now. So we divide through by two. We divide this equally divide this by two. So two year one, one, one. So two year one, two into 14 will give us seven, two into four will give us two. So when I end up having the square root of our m times the square root of our minus m, this is equal to 72. Easy. Here we are having this radical here. We have to eliminate this radical. And how do we eliminate this radical? We take the square of both sides again. So from here, we square this side, and here we square this side. All right. So if we square this side, this expression, this square, we affect each of these terms here. So we're going to have here the square root of m r to the power of 2 times bracket the square root of minus m r to the power of 2 equals to 72 r to the power of 2. Let's continue here and see what it gives us. All right. Right. Good. So what happened to this? This, we go with this. This, we go with this. So we are now having our m times minus our m. So this in bracket equal to 72 all raised to the power of 2. Okay. So what we do now, we can use this to multiply this. This will give us minus our m to the power of 2. This is equal to 72 all raised to the power of 2. We are looking for m and not minus m to the power of 2. So first of all, we divide by our minus 1, divide this by minus 1. So this, this will leave. So when I have our m to the power of 2, is equal to our minus, our 72, right? R to the power of 2. Easy. Any confusion? No. So we take the square root of both sides. So here we take the square root of this, we probably take the square root of this. And we introduce our plus minus. Though some mathematicians are of the opinion that in this regard, we don't have to introduce plus minus. What is your thought about this? Drop it in the comment section. When I introduce it plus minus, immediately you take the square root of expression of this kind. And you take the uh, square root on the left hand side, sorry, right hand side, then you introduce your uh, plus minus. Is it a crime? Drop it in the comment section. So these, these leave the system. Again, what happened, we can rewrite this expression we are having here now. So our m will now be equal to plus minus. This will give us the square root of 1 of 1 times what we have here, the square root of 72. Then everything here always to the power of 2. Yeah, right? Okay, so this will go with this. And remember that the square root of minus 1 is equal to iota. So we can have this to be iota times 72. So we're going to have here our m will now be equal to plus minus our um, 72 iota. Right? So in all, we cannot say therefore our m1 is equal to our 72 iota. And our m2 is equal to 72 minus 72 iota. So these are the two roots that we satisfy this radical equation. So this brings us to the end of this math class. If you learned something from this video tutorial again, drop it in the comment section. You have a better way of solving this. Also leave it in the comment section. So far, this um, challenge is concerned. I'm giving out two different approaches. If you have a third and fourth one, drop it in the comment section so that all I must TV can equally learn from you. Thanks for being there. Until we meet you in our next class, don't stop winning. Bye for now.